us now former NBA star Steven Jackson, a friend of George Floyd who has had to step up to be there for Floyd's daughter, Gianna. Uh, Steven, first of all, we continue to be so sorry for the loss of your friend. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. First, I just want your reaction to the news, the upgraded charge against Derek Chauvin and the new charges against the three other officers who were there. Good morning. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, just like the family said, there's no reason to celebrate. I mean, we've seen this before. We want conviction, you know, and, and they said that this conviction would not fix all the, the, the Freddie Grays, the Philando Castile, the Trayvon Martins. It might not fix those. But for black people, it may. You know, these guys need to need to be the be the uh, make a sacrifice for all the other police and all the other police brutality that we missed and didn't get justice for. So this can in our minds, this can be uh, a big step in fixing things and getting justice for black people. Keith Ellison, the attorney general of Minnesota, warned everyone yesterday that convictions here could be hard to come by. Uh, what happens if they don't get those convictions, Stephen? Uh, I don't know. Um, we'll see when we get there, but it's going to be something. Trust me that. Uh, we won't go quietly, but I think we're going to get convictions. It's funny that they're already thinking that way before we even start the trial. You know, they're going into it with a negative mindset. It's not that, it's not that difficult. The same way I'm on this camera and the same way you're filming me for your show, for people to believe it, the same way my brother was murdered. So it, 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 it was filmed for everybody to see. So it's not difficult. It's common sense. And that's what the world has lost. There was video that you posted of George Floyd's six-year-old daughter, Gianna, uh, on your shoulders. I, I want to play that for people right now. That's right. Daddy changed the world. Wait, wait. He did what? Daddy changed the world. Daddy changed the world. Daddy changed the world, she said. What was it like to hear that for you? Oh, man. It was, it was emotional. I just, I just want to lift her spirits. I want her next days to be her best days. And that's all the real I care about, man. Uh, Gigi's a sweet soul. Um, there's three people that I know Floyd loved to death. And that's three people that I care about. His daughter, Gigi, her mother, Roxy, and, his, and his, uh, one of his most close friends, Milton. Three, those three people I really care about because I knew him and I know how much he cared about him. And anything I can do to make their days better, you know, um, I am my brother's keeper, so I'm going to do that. She says, Daddy changed the world. How did her daddy change the well, world? Well, listen, when this, we've never seen 50 uh, all states protests at one time. You know, this is the first time. Look around the world, in Iran, every, every place you can name, Somalia, uh, France, the Netherlands. I've been getting pictures from everywhere in support of justice for my brother, George Floyd. So um, it, it has been amazing. And everybody understand right is right is wrong is wrong. And the people that's really looking at looking in this too deep and not having common sense and seeing what's right is right, then that's the people that have a problem with what's going on. And that's why we don't have justice yet. First Memorial is today in Minneapolis. What will that be like for you? Uh, it ain't really about me. I'm being strong for the family. Um, I'm being strong for his daughter. I'm being strong for Roxy. Um, obviously, that's the role that I took on in this. You know, I got to be strong. I've, obviously, I've had, I really haven't, you know, had time to really think about it because I've been moving so fast. But this is the goal. This is where I want it to be. I, I, uh, this, this just fell in my lap. So I have to lead. I have to step up. And I have to continue to fight for justice for my brother and for a better life for his daughter. And uh, that's the things I'm focused on. You promised to be there for Gianna forever, to walk her down the aisle. Um, what will you tell her about her father? I have my own daughters. So I know what it feels like, you know, I, I know what it feels like when I haven't been there for my daughter or when I miss something or I miss the call. I know what that feels like. And it brings me to tears. So I know how he came to Minnesota to change his life in order to be a better father and, and to, to continue to provide for Gigi. And that was the main focus of his. So that's the role that I love to take. And um, I embrace it because, like I said, I have my own daughters and she'll just fall in line with the rest of them.